this is a trauma case. A patient, uh, 18, intoxicated with alcohol, from, fell from a uh, bunk bed. His blood alcohol level was over 300. Uh, complained of neck pain. Uh, neurological was normal. Came in, ambulance, trauma protocol, ABCs, all checked out. And then part of the uh, evaluation is to get a CT of the cervical spine. That's the gold standard. And you can see here, that's the sagittal CT. And these are parasagittal cuts. These are cuts on both sides. You can see the, the, the vertebrae here. They're uh, articulating with each other with what we call the facets or lateral masses. These are the joints. You can see there's a fracture through one of these uh, facets. We call this a unilateral non-displaced facet fracture. These are, this is an axial image showing the, uh, that, that uh, structure is fractured. And when you look at a patient who has a cervical spine fracture, the question is, is it a stable fracture biomechanically that would heal with the neck color or it's an unstable fracture biomechanically that would need an operation to stabilize? And there are ways that we can figure that out with, you know, how the fracture looks like morphologically. If the patient has a deficit, that definitely adds to the instability of the fracture. And also we'll look at the ligaments and at the integrity of, of the discal ligamentous um, uh, structures. You know, these three criteria, um, uh, depending on um, imaging, neurological exam, and the integrity of the uh, ligaments, we can assign a, an instability score, the higher the score, the more unstable the fracture is. And the cutoff, you know, it's arbitrary a little bit, but if it's, if it's four, if it's more than four, then it's an unstable fracture. So you can see here, um, you know, unilateral non-displaced uh, facade fracture, that's an MR. A little bit of a stir signal here, so not totally disrupted. So you don't give it a two, you give it a one. And this fracture, you calculate the, the score, we call it the uh, subaxial um, injury classification score, and uh, it's less than four, and hence you can treat this patient with a neck collar. Uh, you mobilize them slowly and then keep them embraced. So you mobilize them 30, 60, 90. These are not flexion extension x rays. You put the patient, um, firstly, the patient would have uh, come in uh, with total spine precautions, flat bed rest, and then you put them in a neck collar after you determine that the fracture is stable mobilize them slowly, 30 degree x-ray, 60 degree x-ray, and then 90 degree x-ray without seeing any subluxation or any dislocation. You can see here the spinal laminar line is smooth. Mobilize them with a neck color. We usually use a Miami J color. There are different colors to use. And then nothing subluxing. The neck pain is good. So you can treat them this way for about eight to 12 weeks. And that's a 12 week follow-up, no subluxation no neck pain, and you can get a CT scan to demonstrate that the fracture has indeed healed. See, the fracture has healed. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you liked that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.